Hello, this is Greg Michael, and I've just played for you the nursery rhyme called If You Are Happy and You Know It. I based my version on the version of very famous and appreciated Mr. Tumble. Mr. Tumble is the character from the TV show called Something Special, available on TV channel called CBeebies here in the UK. If you live outside the UK, you can always check it on YouTube. Before we start learning this song, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and hit the bell button next to it because that way you'll be notified about my future videos. Uh, I will be placing the link to my website to where you can download the chords for this lesson. I recommend that you actually go there now and uh, copy those chords and have them in front of you while you are watching this video. I will be also placing the links to products that help me to shoot this video if you are interested in the technical side of things. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, at the beginning of the song there is this intro that goes like that. Uh, what can I say? It's, um, it's something optional, I would say. You don't have to do it, you know. If you are a beginner, probably I wouldn't recommend doing that because it's not essential. Uh, but, but I'll quickly talk you through the intro. So uh, I'm using this chord called B5, which is the power chord, and it goes like that. Your first finger has to go on string 5 fret 2, your third finger goes on string 4 fret 4, and uh, on the fret uh, 4 of string uh, 3 is your pinky. And I'm hitting only strings that are fretted. And what you do, you just do down strokes, and you count 1 and 2 and. So you play it 4 times. So this is B5. Then you have to move this shape diagonally up and uh, s s put your first finger on fret 4, string 6, fret uh, 6, fret, uh, string 5, and s s fret 6, string 4. This, this chord is called A flat 5. And you hit 4 more times. So to get it goes 1 and 2 and 3. And after that, you have to play this chord called A major. If you are a complete beginner, I'm going to quickly show you. A major goes like that. Open A string. You place your second finger on fret 2, string 4. Fret 3, string 3, fret 2. And pinky on string 2, fret 2. And you play the open, a, open E string, which is the fast string. So that's your, that's your first chord. Then you go to this chord called E major, which is those middle two fingers. Those middle two fingers have to go uh, one string up towards the ceiling, and uh, basically finger two on fret two, string five, uh, finger three, string four, fret two. It's so confusing to give those instructions. And now the first finger has to go on fret one, string three, counting from here one, two, three, counting from the top, which is the bottom. But you know what I mean. One, two, three. So you, you strum all those strings. And then you have to come back to A again and back to E. I'll put it in a context for you. One and two and three and four and one, two, three, four. So the reason I don't recommend actually playing the intro is because it's quite awkward to time it with what's coming next, which is singing. So, so why am I teaching you this intro? I'm doing that because on this uh, Mr. Tumble's version of it, they actually do it. But as far as I know, Mr. Tumble doesn't play guitar, so I think it's fine if we just skip it. So what I recommend doing instead is you know, strum the chord A major once, so you kind of get the note that you're gonna sing, and then start start playing the verse. So here's the verse. I'll talk you through the chords. You have one bar of A major, the chord that I just showed you, and you you can the easiest way of playing would be just start strum down strokes, which is like one, two, three, four. Then go to E major chord for for four more beats. One. Two, three, four. Next bar is E major again. Back to A major for four beats. Jump to the D major chord, and in case you don't know it, 
your first finger has to go on fret number two, string three. Second finger has to go on fret two, string one. And the ring finger goes on string two, fret three. You want to get that sound and I recommend strumming up to five strings because it will sound deeper and richer. But four strings is also fine. So I I do it four times. One, two, three, four. Because you have four beats per measure. So after that you have A major for another four beats. One, two, three, four. After that go back to E major. One, two, three, four. And finally you can go well, you have to go to A on beat 1, E major on beat 2, and A major on beat 3 and let it ring. Then the next verse is exactly the same, just follow the chord sheet. So what I'll do, I'll play the simple kind of way. So I'm giving, my, giving myself this note, like a reference note, that uh, helps me to, to find the, 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 the note of the tune. And I say, if you... sheet that I place on my website allows you to see bars as well as that it allows you to, to, to follow words on which the chords are played so so you know it's it's uh, the, the, the chords are aligned with the lyrics with the words of the song so I think I hope that it's going to be easy for you I mean if you struggle with that you know let me know if you don't like this system, but I, I, I think that this system works for me and, and my students, I hope, because I've never had any complaints. So, so I, I prefer to know how many bars I play on each chord or how many beats each chord is, as opposed to put placing just so chords over the lyrics and not knowing how many times I have to strum. So I hope that you kind of understand why I'm, I'm, play, I'm doing the, the chord sheets the way I do. So if if you want to complain about this, just post a comment under the video, and I'll I'll I'll, I'll provide alternative version for you if 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 you need me to. Okay. So if it was a, if I wanted to do more intermediate way of playing this song, I I would use this uh, more more popular strumming pattern that goes like that: down, down, up, up, down, up. You know, it's uh, it's the most used and abused strumming pattern in the history of uh, popular music, and it goes like that. As I said, one, well, it goes down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, and I count one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and so I strum on one and on two, down, one, two, and three, one, two, and three, and four, and. What I don't do, I don't strum on beat number three. It's kind of uh, tricky to explain it in a video, so uh, I think it's best if you just do it down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, and keep the right hand moving without stopping. And if you are interested in uh, learning guitar rhythms, place the comment under the video, and, and if I get, you know, few requests I'll probably shoot another video on how to play some strumming patterns. Okay, uh, so here's another demonstration of the song with this uh, strumming pattern. If you're have it. Uh, as always, uh, forgive me my singing, you know, I'm not a singer, I don't sing by choice, it's just necessity, so I do it uh, for your benefit rather than for my own pleasure. So, uh, what can I say? Uh, I think I think that the lesson is done, uh, you know, if you are interested, interested in, in future videos, consider subscribing, as I said, 
hit the bell button because that way you get notified about uh, what's going on. I'll be teaching other things than nursery rhymes, but for now, you know, it's something I do. So, you know, let's keep in touch and I hope I'll see you soon.